Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And it is now time for what be the final eight videos I have done in the span of four hours. And we don't get right into this one. We ain't got time to waste. We end it. The best of the best. We end it with Nukes Top 5. This is 10 scary videos to cry yourself to sleep to. I might end up doing so afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment what you think down below. Let's go. Urban explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The cemetery was built in 1886 and is the final resting place of many notable figures. But while wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, the guys stumble upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Their camera captures something downright chilling. No. Did you see it? No? Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulling back into an open coffin. Oh. Now, it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. Oh yeah, you ain't no way gonna notice that you will skip right on past that if you don't see even I, if I was there I wouldn't notice that at all that's so quick. Holy shit, that's insane But when the footage is converted to a negative image the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see Now it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this This crypt is very old and unstable and it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside so did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Castronautica. Trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, she might have uh, be mad that you're selling that car. He gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you could have a look at it. She still runs good. Uh, she's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her, but uh, it can clean up nice. Here's the front. I can hear something. A little back. Here's some in the back. But I don't know uh, if you're interested. Just oh hell no, bro. I couldn't. Oh no. Once I'd hear that, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna sell this car. Nope, she don't want me to. But I don't want to. Nope. That is all. Oh. So it's the mix. It's probably both. It's mixed of the spirit, like trapped in the car, dying in the car, crying, and it might be crying, feeling the like some sort of betrayal with the fact that he's selling the car. Uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by These Dark Adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car and that her soul is still trapped, unable to move on. Motorcycle Mystery in the city of Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle rider is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. He is about to experience something that is truly bizarre. Ooh. I was not prepared for 
prepared for that. I was not prepared for that. Boris just runs out in front of him. But he doesn't hear so because they just vanish. Oh, that's fucking smoky. Someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle's path, but when the rider looks back, there's no one there. But it gets even weirder, because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark blur. Now many locals believe that the rider saw the ghost of someone who passed away on the dangerous road. But if this wasn't anything supernatural, then just what happened here? Let me know what you think. Open house. Ready user slash realtor Sandra is recording it. Oh, we've seen this one before. We've seen this one. Hey, was it? A sh load of times. We've seen this one. A shit to load of times. Two many times. Two, two many times. Tour of a 1960s bungalow style home to show prospective buyers. Sandra's filming at night in order to showcase the house's interior lighting. But it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. She messed up the lines. So I thought since I've seen the video, if I just go grab my drink quickly. I'm more find it hilarious. She didn't even cut. She didn't like cut and do a retake. She just kept the whole video, which is even more funnier to me. Cause I feel like that's just a bad way to go about doing it. But. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1963 bungalow. The door just fucking opened. Could you imagine if that happened while you were what, showing the place? But you were showing the place, the door just opened? I don't know what the fuck to think. She spooked as fuck as she should be. Go ahead, do it again. You're on camera. This is the only thing I find weird. She saw the door open. If I saw a door open, my response would not be do that again. My response would be get the fuck up out of there. Especially if I don't know the place is going to do that. But maybe again, there's a thing where maybe people just reacted differently. She just knew it was a ghost. Open this door. The fine door. Isn't that one the one that closes? Go ahead, open this door. Open this door like you do the other one.
Come on, just move a glass or something. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. suddenly swings open on its own and Sandra is spooked. But she gathers her courage and rushes out to see what's going on. A glass of water sitting on top of the fireplace shifts and slowly moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beep before crashing violently to the floor. With that, Sandra has had enough and just gets out of there. But there's also something else that is very creepy in this video. Something that only a few viewers even notice. So again I ask, did you see it? Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly darken. And then the creepy little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home, but this was the first time that she finally captured it on camera. We need scary videos, so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail. Oh, he switched that because that used to be perfect. Videos that you think would be perfect for the top five, and then he switched it to great for the top five. Interesting. Mel.com. There's probably nothing to that, it's just something I noticed. Flicker. Reddit user Sibseb says that his mother is taking care of a young foster child at her home in England. One night, a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom, but the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Something that is downright creepy. Who's sitting here? I think the foster kid's in here. Who's sitting on this chair? That is creepy. God, that's creepy. Someone seems to be seated in the chair. A small pale face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Then the face just disappears. Reddit user Sibseb wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. But what do you think this is? Very creepy. The Fond du Lac UFO. Around 2 a.m., Florissa Bonnelay and her family friends are driving home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. It's, it looks that like a me? UFO, right? That's a UFO! Look at this chair. Just stay right there. Look, it's just above there. Are you recording it? Yeah. <gasps> That's a UFO! You can just see it! <laughs> well, hi, you know. I can't say what that is. If you guys can't let me know, I'll think it's possible. It's possible. You can just see it. It's like Very rare we see UFO footage on here. So though I feel like the reason I see it's on there is because he must find it actually creepy. Just keep movie. recording it. It's on our YouTube. It won't take 
Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flashing lights soaring through the sky. Larissa's mother posted the video to Facebook and friends and local residents immediately began to respond that they too have seen the strange UFO. Eyewitness reports in the thread go all the way back to January 1990. So just what could this mysterious flying object be? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Follower. Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving down the... It's the hooker! Allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Wasn't this channel... Hold on. Wasn't that channel something else? The hooker? Hold on a minute. This channel I remember from somewhere. Nick believes that this dark entity followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. So back in 2022, I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5, along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. I thought so. I two years since those videos were recorded, Nick Perry has moved to a new house in a new city, but he believes that the dark entity has followed him. I just got home and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here. So that's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out you know, what the f it is. Max, shut up. Ain't nobody here. It was up against the f***ing wall. That was weird. You did see a, a shadow move. There was a shadow that was moving that was not his or the dog's. Nick decides to leave several cameras recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. This is it. The one where the person walks down the hallway. That's what it is from. Okay, I know what we've seen this before now. Well, that's just rude. That's rude also. Why are we opening things for no reason? Have some respect, y'all. I'm a ghost. Why are you being so disrespectful? <laughs> Nick says that he's re okay. That's good. that person just fucking football tackled the goddamn camera. Reached out to several churches and religious authorities, but no one has helped him. As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He shares his dark experiences over on his YouTube channel. Mimic. Leandro from Buenos Aires, Argentina says that he began to experience strange unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. But late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for. Bro. Bro. 
Alejandro is completely unnerved by this. I fucking don't blame him. What the fuck, dude? Strange paranormal experience. He decides to check into the history of his new home for answers. He is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s, a family of four passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. Another night, and Leandro has his friend Daniel over. And once again, it goes sideways. A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside Leandro's home. Then the item sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air by an invisible force. And Leandro and his friend Daniel jump up in shock. And now this is when things get really strange. Because Leandro claims that after this incident, the spirit that haunts his house actually began to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Son las 3 de la mañana de nuevo. Y esto es lo que yo, con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. Con esto yo convivo hace meses. Siempre que grabo. Vos no sos Daniel. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Daniel se fue hace meses del país, vos no sos Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora. Ya. This is insane. This is insane. The fact that a ghost can do that. A ghost can mimic the voice of someone you know, someone you love. And they will use that to get you to open the door to let them in. This, this has always been what's funny to me in this theory. A ghost can walk through a door, can it? Like, it can walk through objects. It can walk through a wall. It can walk through a door. Why in the fuck? Why do ghosts have to have you open a door for them to come in? I've never understood this. The, the, the logic of ghosts don't make sense for me. Because we see videos of ghosts coming through walls and just fucking going through the next wall. And we've seen go ghosts that can't apparently get through doors. What the fuck? Dejame de joder. Dejame de joder. Yo si no puedo vivir. Ya no puedo vivir. Ya si no puedo vivir. Oh my god. Dude, dude, this thing is fucking with him so badly. Oh, yo si no puedo vivir, si no puedo seguir. Leandro says that he's had more than enough of the strange supernatural activity in his new home. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Footprints. Hard to say, but it's pretty convincing. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One freezing cold morning around 4 a.m., Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Something truly disturbing. Good morning, guys. It is literally 5 a.m. I opened the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And there are people feet printed all over my deck in the snow. Do you see this? They start over there. And it like barefoot walks up to the table. There's nothing coming up to the... Maybe there is something coming up to the door. What? And I don't see any in the yard. What 
is this? I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard up to the door, turned around towards the table, and then just stopped moving. That one has like one, two, three, four, like six toes. That's six toes. So is that one. One, two, three, four, five. It is 16 degrees out. I have not gone outside yet. My cat came and woke me up hysterical, probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck. I'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because there's no reason to be out there barefoot. Now for obvious reasons, Kat is a bit freaked out, but she's also worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost and there have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Kat is concerned, but she's done all she can, and she just lets it go. But almost two weeks later, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay, morning footprint update. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? They're barefoot again. They're in a different spot than... <clears throat> Look at my shadow. So those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints before. Let's go downstairs. It is seven o'clock. I've been up since 4.30. I didn't look outside. I just came up here and then I opened the window to see if any of the stray cats were coming up to the door yet because I didn't feed them yet. <gasps> I'm gonna stay right along the side so I don't interfere. Those are definitely very bare human feet, but there are not six toes on these that I can tell. I don't know. No, no those are very clear toes right there. So the house next door has nobody living in it, so I'm not sure why the prince would be coming from that deck. Happy New Year. Cat purchased two security cameras to monitor the outside of her home, but the mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet. So could this be something supernatural? Or is it something even scarier? A real person creeping around Kat's house in the middle of the night. Heads up. It could be either. It literally could be either because right now it looks, sounds, everything adds up to be a person. But I don't actually know. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is back this time investigating an abandoned school in China that is said to be extremely haunted. As his live stream audience watches, Xiaolong begins to hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building. He's a little on edge as he goes to check out the strange sounds. What happens next is... Just watch. <laughs> Xiao Long gets the fright of his life because of a plastic statue head. 
But luckily, Shaolong delivers a good old-fashioned slap upside the head to put that statue back in line. But things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit more frightening. As Shaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, this happens. This guy's asking for trouble. He throws the ball out the window. That's the damn ghost's ball. And they disrespect the ghost like that. A small ball inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself, so Xiaolong chucks it out a window. But then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, almost hitting Xiaolong. Now luckily the ghost hunter made it out safe, but he's not done just yet. Inside one of the school's many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror. And this is when his exploration takes a terrifying turn. Disrespectfully walk, you know, just kind of popping up behind you. You disrespecting them and them disrespecting you. It's just a whole world of disrespect. You only start respecting each other, you all gonna get your ass kicked by each other. <laughs> Who told you? Uh? Why is that his insult? Why is his insult to everyone? Fuck your mother. I don't understand. Why is that his insult to everyone? <laughs> What? What did you do? What? Hit him with a karate kick. What's up? I'll give credit. I don't know how the hell he's doing this if this ain't real. Like, he's just perfectly. Going there, going back to the thing, and the person standing there. <laughs> oh my God! This man's a clown. This man's the clowniest ghost hunter ever. He's kicking ghosts. He's Smacking up the side of the head of statues, he's screaming F your mother at everyone. He's he's uh very clownish. <laughs>
！我操你妈！你妈了个逼、oh ！我操你妈呀！啊啊啊啊啊、操你妈！你哪里来了？<laughs> In the mirror's reflection, someone can be seen standing behind Xiao Long, but when he swings around in terror, there's no one there. After an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity, Xiao Long finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared. But now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window, and a heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him. The activity is becoming a little too intense, so Xiao Long decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more terrifying moments from this ghost hunt over on the YouTube channel Outdoor Xiao Long. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.